hi and welcome to my youtube channel my name is kim arnold today i'm going to be doing a layout working with uniquely creative country roads collection so what you can see here is i'm just looking at the various papers to see what i'm going to work with i have pre-cut a whole heap of the elements out of the two sheets of paper that are um, have lots of small icons and elements on them to cut up so i've pre-prepared that for this layout but that's all i've done I'm just working through the process now. As you can see, I decided to use that black printed paper as the background and I've cut the center out of it so that I've got the paper there to use for another layout. I am layering over that the Vicky Booten's foundation paper um, because I want to do a mixed media background for this layout and I believe that it is the best paper to use for mixed media. I love it. It's smooth and it's very, very heavy. Um, which makes it really easy. I am thinking about using um, one of the Tim Holtz Distress Crayons to do the mixed media background, but as you'll see, I end up going with something different. Um, but that um, uh, that color crayon does work with the paper, but I felt that it ended up being too red. Um, you do have to be a bit careful with red because it can look a bit, little bit like blood when you do it as a, um, a mixed media background. So I ended up choosing to go with a green, which you will see in due course. So with this layout, I'm also using a Stamperia Clear Prints um, Transparency. They are also super heavy. I love the prints on them. Um, and so I've cut a small portion of that to create a foundation for um, a large cluster of elements that I'm going to build beside the right side of the photo. Um, so what I'm doing now is just playing with all of these elements that I've cut up and I'm going to create three clusters, a large one on the right side of the photo, a smaller one on the left side of the photo and one at the top of the page. Um, once I've laid that out, I'll pull the layout apart, do the mixed media background and then stick it all back together. So I will leave you. Oh, i leave you until I get to the mixed media background and then I'll explain what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how I've got this layout looking now, so I'm going to pull it apart. Um, often I will take a photo of a layout so I know what to come back to, but I'm using my phone to do my recording, so I can't do that. It does help prompt you when you're trying to remember what you did. I have used a Tim Holtz Distress Oxide ink for the back of this um, layout. And then I am now using water and a paintbrush to activate the ink and um, soften the effect. I'm also using tissues to take off some of the excess water. What, what you're doing is creating a distressed effect to the background by using paintbrushes, water, tissues, and then I will also use splatters to give that um, distressed look so the colors will change in the distress oxide as a result of having water applied to it you can see here now that i'm doing splatters and this just creates such an interesting um, texture in your background so it's not just a flat ink it when you look at it closely it's got a lot of variation in the color um, and i absolutely love oxide inks for that purpose. Mm -hmm. 
I'm now going to create some bigger splats of water by just spraying it into the palm of my hand and splattering it and then lifting it. It just adds to the distress. So I'm getting pretty close to the end of doing this background. I lift it up so you can have a look at it. Now I need to dry it off um, so that I can start sticking elements to it. Um, glues and adhesives won't work if your background's not dry enough. So I'm using a tissue to take off some of the um, excess water and then I'm gonna hit it with a heat gun. Um, the good thing about um, the Vicky Booten foundation paper is that it won't buckle too much, but I do recommend using your heat gun both on the front and the back of the layout evenly to dry it. That will help prevent um, buckling and you can see that I'm doing that now. Okay, so it's all ready to go and I'm going to start rebuilding the layout back up. One thing you probably will notice is it won't necessarily be exactly the same when I re-put um, the layout back together. What I am doing now is just sanding the edge of the photo with an emery board. That just gives it a fine white edge so it stands out a bit more from the background. Um, now that it's a green background, the white um, distressed sanded edge will show. I like to sort of build my little cluster, get it how I'm, how I like it with the photo and then take, take elements up and try and stick it down without moving things too much because that makes sure that everything's in the right spot. Um, so I'm just starting to do that now and build those clusters and you'll see this layout come back together. Um, I am using a combination of wet adhesives, um, glue, um, which I love and foam tape. I used to use um, uh, double-sided tape, but I'm very much now um, an, a wet adhesive person when it comes to scrapbooking and holding stuff together. I will just mention that I've used some of the die cuts from the un uniquely creative Country Roads collection as well. Um, those pipes that I've put onto the layout are from those die cuts. And what I've done is actually cut one of those elements in half and stuck, well, not quite in half, a section off it, probably a quarter and three quarters. And I've stuck a small part at the top of the photo with the rest of it coming out below the photo. Um, again, just gives a little bit more interest um, and it means that most of the elements not tucked up in underneath the photo.
I'm pretty close to done now. I'm just going to add some journaling. I cannot overstate how important it is to journal on your layouts. Um, even if it's just the date and the people, it's really important. Thank you for joining me today. I'd love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be trying to put videos up regularly. All products I've used today are available from Embellish It, my local scrapbook store and online store in Timaru, New Zealand. Thanks.